Hey guys, Wax Bastard Airsoft here, and uh, long time no see, right? I feel the same. Missed all my babies. Anyway, I just went through some shit. And I'm not even exaggerating. So, to kind of keep you guys up to speed on what's been going on, my wife left me. She started staying at work late and hanging out with this guy friend. And uh, I'm not stupid. I knew what was going on. And so upon confrontation, she denied that she wasn't doing that, but had mentioned that she wanted a divorce. And we'd only been married like two months. So... Wow. So anyway, I reluctantly agreed, and she went one way, I went another, and you know, th things were, well, they were as good as they could be, given the uh, situation. Um, but I still didn't like, you know, being around town and seeing her and her new boy toy walking around all the stores and stuff like that, and you know, I just thought taking a bit of a vacation would be really cool. Also, this was like a month prior to me shipping out. So, I thought I'd go see my mom, get out of town, get my mind off things. And uh, I definitely got my mind off things. Anyway, I went down to Texas, wound up staying there for about three weeks. And uh, I was out one night with a friend, well, not with a friend, but seeing a friend, and I went to cross the road, and I guess it's one of the main thoroughfares in Austin, but it was dark, there was like no lights in the area, you know, I'm just giving you guys excuses now, basically, I was a dumbass, I misgaged the speed of a truck, and it hit me going at 70 miles an hour, <laughs> I don't have a lot of memory of that, but not cool. So it sent me 40, 40 feet through the air and inflicted a whole bunch of damage. I mean, broken bones, fucked up internal organs, lots of road rash. I mean, I got like the the Mike Tyson looking scar. I know, I know it's, you know doesn't look exactly like it, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Got a Mike Tyson on my face. Road rash. But anyway, I wound up spending two months in the hospital. Just recovering, going through, you know, all sorts of therapy to get back on my A game. And I've, I've made it to that point. But that landed me back in Alabama where I started Bastard Airsoft. If you if you look around, you know I'm sure you guys can recognize me. My old desk used to be like right in here. Right over here. It's kinda crazy. But I'm finishing up outpatient therapy here in Alabama and then I'm headed back to Oregon. So I'll need to invest in all sorts of new gear and stuff like that to continue making you know good videos but that shouldn't take me too long you know I I've already got cleared to go back to work so I'm such a badass I don't even get to draw SSI but whatever so that's just kind of an update as to what's been going on. Um, for any of you wondering, death was definitely what... I wouldn't say wonderful, but not scary. Nothing happened. They had to resuscitate me for two minutes and nothing happened. I didn't float towards the light. I didn't see all my dead relatives. I didn't see anyone standing over me saying, 
You're going to hell because you're a bad guy. Nothing happened. I literally got turned off. It's the best way I can put it. But anyway, hope you guys stay tuned. Sit tight. Videos are coming. I promise. Just been a little busy, obviously. So, you guys have a great day. And, uh, be paying attention. They're coming. Wex out.